L is for the way you look at me. O is for the All right, love is in the air this morning as we get ready for Valentine's Day. Whether you celebrate with your boo or maybe just some friends, there's plenty of ways you can enjoy this holiday. Joining me with some new ideas is event planner and designer Swan Lee. Good morning, Swan. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show and talking to us about Valentine's Day. Absolutely, because it's here. It is here. Yeah, for all you guys at home who haven't started Come planning on. just yet, Tuesday. Tuesday, okay? Let's, let's get on this it. This Tuesday. Let's get on it, okay? So just talk to us uh, popular things happening, you know, with Valentine's Day this year. What yes. are some things you can do? Just easy things, maybe, in your opinion, that would be... Uh, something that would win over the person that you love. The person that you love. The easiest thing to do this year mm -hmm. is to plan something intimate at your home, mm. right? Save so, money. Save money. And you also will create intentional moments, right? Mm -hmm. Around the home that you'll think about when you're having those heated arguments. If you share the love in that space, it, it kind of echoes throughout the home. So you can do intimate dinners. You can do post-it notes of 10 reasons why I love you on the mirror. I like that. You can go into different rooms and talk about um, recreate spaces where you've traveled. That's a really big thing where you've had those amazing memories. Recreating them right in the home is always great to do. It shows that you're thinking about all the great times. You are intentional about what they love, right? Because Women, we always hint. You always know, because we will tell you what we're loving. You know, my significant other, if you're listening, I want those Gucci socks. Oh, <laughs> man. You have been called out. You have been called out. If you don't get them, I want you to come back on the show. I will. And I want a full report, okay? All right, so gifting, we're, we're going to get into that. Huge yes. deal. But, you know, sometimes Valentine's Day, I mean, just kind of give what you think is going to be, Absolutely. you know, the thing that lands, you know, the thing that actually says that I care about you. It doesn't have to be over the top, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. It doesn't have to be over the top. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You just need to be intentional. So what that literally means is recreating their favorite moment. What mm -hmm. are their top favorites? Showering them maybe with that, maybe seven days of love, right? Maybe the first day is just cooking breakfast. Mm -hmm. Maybe the second day is coming to your home. Maybe recreating a photo shoot where you you can have a love day right there in the house. Like those little small intimate moments, of course, every girl, we, we love diamonds and jewelry, don't get us wrong, of right? Course. And men love lavish things too. But sometimes it's just small little intimate moments that will create a lasting memory. I don't remember what I got five years ago, but I remember when there were moments hanging from everywhere in the house stating 21 reasons why he loved me, right? Oh, wow. I'll never forget that, but I have no clue what I received that year. <laughs> it's the thought that counts for whoever's yes. out there that needs a gift this year. But also something yes. really interesting that you were talking to me uh, before we came out here was, you know, Valentine's Day doesn't just have to be about if you're yes. in a relationship with whomever it is. Uh, it doesn't have to be about just showering them. There's other Absolutely. people that you can be very uh, intentional with, with showing uh, them love or sharing love with them. Absolutely. Love being in the air is about spreading love, right? So what does that look like? That looks like doing small little acts of kindness, mm -hmm. whether it's paying for the person's coffee at Starbucks, whether it's volunteering at a senior living facility, whether it's showing up to your grandmother's home with a bouquet full of roses and chocolates. Which you love to do for your grandmother. I did. My most memorable experiences on Valentine's Day mm -hmm. were with my grandmother literally finding the most gaudy, outlandish <laughs> gifts <laughs> and bringing them to her home because she will forever be my Valentine, right? So even if you don't have a significant other, you can spread love, you can share love just by doing one small act of kindness a day. I absolutely love it. That's all we have for this segment. Thank you so much, Swan Lee, for coming on our show today. We'll be right back after this.